Katja? Katja, stop. Oh, hello, namesake. Who are you running from? They're doing injections. I'm afraid. I see. Hello. Hello, Katya. It's all right. Tell me, Katya. Do you know how to count? Yes, but only to ten. To ten? You're such a clever girl. These are for you, then. Do they smell good? Yeah. Let's count the flowers inside. Let's go in, shall we? Jump down. Thank you. Let's go. One, two, three. Moments of love. Try and remember what your child had to eat yesterday. You know, at first he... Hello. I can't find a vein. I'll go and take another syringe. My name's Katya. And you are? Maxim. Tell me, has he had similar pains before? No, but late last night... Eight years old? You're so big. What do you think it is? Appendicitis. I'm gonna take a quick look. Does that hurt? Turn on your left side. Well, this is clearly appendicitis. Any doubts? Just hold on. One minute. His stomach is strained but not bloated, and his eyes are yellowish. What do you think it could be? Biliary colic. I thought the same, but he has those sharp pains on his right side. He's young. It's easy to make a mistake. We'll get his blood sample taken, and it will be clear. I'm so sorry. Come in, come in, quickly. Come in. I hope, uh, I hope, stop chatting, please. I hope that everyone Later. understands everything. As usual, the best doctors get to take a vacation in the summer, and that's how we find ourselves now. Take Dr. Petrov, for example. Great job. The ambulance brought a patient in with appendicitis. The operation room was ready, but Dr. Pretroff doubts the diagnosis, notices the sclerae, and checks the symptoms. And what do we have? Hepatitis. It's not clear yet. Why aren't the samples ready yet? What do you mean, not ready? They're ready. Here you go. Hi, Bill Rubin. Well, this is further proof that Dr. Petrov was probably right. Good job, Dr. Petrov. Very well done. Yeah. If only he had diagnosed it on his own. You're poking your nose in again, Miss Katya. Do you remember that you're just a lab worker? I remember that I'm a pediatrician. Did you forget about that? That's right. Isn't it high time they switch positions? Send Petrov to the lab and Katya to the admissions unit. Right, right, enough talking. I decide who to switch, where and with whom. Petrov is a young specialist. He needs to gain experience. Where else would he do it if not in the admissions unit? I've already asked you, Katya. Wait half a year. I don't have a laboratorian right now. It's already been a year and a half. And I didn't come here to work in the lab. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are you arguing with, eh? Enough. Miss Katya, th this is how it is. And we're not going to change anything. Where are you going? Excuse me. Katya, stop right now. We have a meeting with the chief physician. And do you know how many more samples I have to check? She has lost the plot. Sweetie. Mm. Mm. 
Hi. Why are you so early? Mm, early? I was hurrying to meet you. Don't you know how boring it is without you? <laughs> what? Gartya, I'm so sorry. You're gonna be alone tonight. The boss wants me in straight away. There's a project that needs fixing. He's got me by the throat, okay? Gartya, just don't be mad, okay? Mm. Mm. All right. But only today. My friend is coming tomorrow, just for the day. Remember, the girls and I will be waiting for you. I adore you for your understanding. Mm. 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 Auntie Katya, will you teach me how will you teach to me dance? to dance? Mom said you can tap dance. You can. I know you can. It was a thousand years ago. But you can. <laughs> <laughs> will you teach me? Come on, you're my friend. Of course, my dear. Let's go home first, rest a bit, eat something, and then dance. Girls, this is our bus. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <sighs> Made it. Here we go. Tell me, how was your vacation? How was the sea? It was great, just awesome. Mm -hmm. Aha, the people were so great. Mm -hmm. Well, there's some romance in the cards too. Really? Yeah. That's great. And Tanya had great fun too, right Tanya? And how are things in general? You mean Tanya's father? Yeah. No, he never showed up. What about that alimony? What's alimony? He didn't even show in court. It's all right. We'll work it out. More than fine. We'll live. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you so much. <laughs> oh, you've gotten so cute. You're my favorite miracle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Bravo. That's so cool, Auntie Katya. Super. I loved it. Dance more. All right, my daughter. That's it. Time to sleep. Let's go to bed. Good night. Good night. So we're not waiting for Gregory? He might not show up. He slammed it. Well, that's lucky for him. I'd put him up against the wall and ask him when the wedding is happening. Oh, tomorrow. It's a touchy subject with him. Yeah. Katya. You know how much I love you. You're very close and dear to me. I don't like all this. Why is he hiding from us? I don't know, tomorrow. I'm not sure he's yeah, hiding. Yeah, exactly. You're not sure. And don't look at me like this. Do you remember how Igor and I started? Flowers, sweets, how did it end? You know, I'm also tired of all this guessing. Always waiting. For Gregory, at work, I'm waiting all the time. But I need to live here and now. Oh, that's a great toast. For here and now. Katya, don't be sad. We'll go to the south next year and drop by for a day. Tomorrow, a day's not enough. Come for a week at least. My dear, I'd be happy to, but there's work, you know? <gasps> look, he made it! Look, look! Uh, at least to the train. Honey! So this is your Gregory you boast about. Yes, that's my Gregory. So you've got yourself a sprinter. <laughs> my sprinter's had too much work on his mind. He'll run to the end and come back. Made it! I Dad, made it! Dad's here to meet us! <laughs> Hey. Mom, I told you. Hey. Okay, all right. Uh. He's not a sprinter. He's something else altogether. Uh, let's go this way. All right, girls. 
Let's get on the train, or we'll be late. Come on, Katya. Come on, honey. All right. Goodbye, Auntie Katya. Bye, sweetheart. Katya, Katya, don't do anything stupid. Perhaps it's a mistake. What mistake? He was afraid to even look at me. Girls, the train is departing. Into the car, please. Listen, just figure it out first, all right? Promise? Promise. And one more thing. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Remember this. My dear... Whatever happens, all right? You'll have a place to live. <laughs> we'll find you a job. And there'll be a better man, believe me. That's it, my dear. I love you. I love you too. Please mind the closing doors. Everything will be all right, do you hear me? Everything will be all right. I'm waiting for you. Katya, honey, wait, 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 wait a second. Listen, I... Listen, I want to explain everything. I don't need your explanation. Everything is perfectly Babe, clear. Babe, wait, please, wait a second. I... Listen, I want to explain everything. I understand. It's all complicated. And yes... I'm married. But that's it. We're getting divorced. Exactly what I was thinking. Honey, why are you doing this? Katya, look at me. Listen, I... Believe me, it's all over there. Katya? Believe me. I have a daughter. I couldn't just... Leave them. A daughter? Is that why you lied to me? And to her? Katya! this? Ekaterina Vasilyevna Kruglova. Holiday in spring. What are you talking about? We moved your schedule to the summer, since you're so smart and pretty. To be honest, that was a long time ago. Now, I have a chance to go to the beach for cheap. And I already bought a new swimsuit. Hmm. Okay. You can go.
Excuse me, could you give me a ride to town? To town? Where in town? High Street, but I don't know where it is. That's actually pretty far. I'll pay as much as you say. Oh, come on, I'll pay, I'll pay. What if you don't have enough? <clears throat> I'm joking with you. Give me your bag. I'll throw it in the back seat. I usually don't charge much. <laughs> Jump in. All right, let's go. Yeah. Is this even your car? It's mine to some extent. What does some extent mean? Don't worry, I know how to drive. Mm-hmm. You scared? Actually, I am. There we go. Are you here for work or pleasure? My fiance's here. Why didn't he pick you up? Are you actually interested or just making small talk? I see you're very much on the ball. Are you insane? Stop the car. I, I Stop just wanted the to... car, I said. Hey, wait. I didn't... I didn't want to upset you, really. I've never driven this car before. And my hand, I just, I was going for the gearbox. Did you steal it? What, my hand? Hey, I took this car from work. Hold on, where are you going? It's 10 miles to the city. And there are wild boars out there. I'm really sorry. This is not my car. Mine's being repaired. You should keep your eyes on the road. No, I really didn't mean to offend you. I'm really sorry. You don't believe me? I didn't want to offend you. I wanted to shift a gear. I'm sorry as well. It's just no one met me and I'm worried. Look out! A dog! <sighs> I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm Savior. Gotcha. My pleasure. We're here. Mm -hmm. How much do I owe you? All the money in your purse? I'm joking. It's no problem. Invite me for tea sometime. Oh, you know, that's not really possible. I'm just visiting. Oh, right. Let me help you with the bag, at least. No, really, thanks. I got it. Let me... Seriously. Uh.
<laughs> what are you looking at? Yeah, I got in a wreck. Hello. Hello. I haven't seen bosses who take the warden's car to go to the railway station in a long time. Is it so important that you can't entrust it to anyone? Sergey, are you a boss or what? I just had this feeling I should go there on my own today. I was right. Why aren't you asleep? Go relax. I decided to take a walk around. Just in case. Children's clothes? Why do you need so many? You don't have that many kids in the house. I don't, but someone else does. Take them to the orphanage. Be discreet. Sorry, I must have the wrong apartment. Three days ago. And Tanya? She was on call. The car broke down. She went to a faraway district on foot and got soaking wet. She got for two days, then a pulmonary edema happened. We didn't even manage to come in time. She was waiting for you. She told us Shh. about you. We couldn't call the job. Three days. Job didn't sleep for three days. Why are you staying with us long? Let's be on a first-term basis since formalities in this situation are... I was going on vacation. Does Igor know? Tony's dad? We don't even know where he is or how to look for him. She's fallen asleep. Let me take her to bed. Social Security's been pushing for two days already. Legally, we should send Tanya to an orphanage. But our conscience won't allow it. We've managed somehow to persuade them not to bother the child for at least a couple of days. But we don't know what to do next. What's next? They'll sell the apartment. And the child. They'll send her to the orphanage. I won't do that. I'll stay with her. That'll be good. At least for a couple of weeks. Why not? We could tell them the truth. You're a close friend, almost a member of the family. We'll try to find the father in the meantime. We're gonna make such a soup. Tanya, wait a second. Hold this. Sir? Sir, what's wrong? 
Don't touch him. He's drunk. He will rest up and then be able to walk. He's not drunk. Has he been here for long? About 10 minutes. Step away already. Are you going to get your hands dirty? Sir, can you tell me your full name? Can you raise your hand? Your tongue. Show me your tongue. Do you have a headache? Ugh, the battery's dead. Can you hear me? Don't close your eyes. Please help us. Hello. What happened? This man isn't well. He's had a stroke. We have only minutes. Please. Hold on. Get him to intensive care. Let them prepare the ALV. Are you tired, little one? I'm so sorry, but we needed to help him. He did great, Auntie Katya. When did it happen? Uh, we found him about 20 minutes ago. You mean you witnessed him have the stroke? Almost. He was lying in the street. In the street? How's that? Were you just walking by? Yes. Do you often go up to people lying in the street? Always. Well then, he's double lucky. That you were walking by and that you know about these things. Professional. Good job. Listen, um, apparently you're going to stay for longer than a day. This offer may sound a bit weird, but would you work for us? We've got three spare shifts at the ambulance unit, and the guys will be only glad if you take some of them. I can't think about that right now. I need to deal with Tanya. We'll schedule the shifts, talking Tanya into account, and you're really going to need money. Yeah. But I don't even have my diploma with me. Just my passport. No, oh, these are just formalities. I'll deal with it. You should agree. Money is always needed. I'll think about it. Tanya and I will discuss it. Think about it. Take a chance. We'll try to take care of it without me. What are you, little kids? I'll be there soon. That's it. Switch your brains on. Bye. Well, how is he? Thank you. He's alive only because of your help. You're welcome. All right, girls, let me give you a ride home. I know the address. Shall we? Katya! It's good that you're still here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Come to my office for a second. I need to clarify some formalities. Honey, it looks like we have to stay a little longer. Thank you for your help. No problem. Goodbye. I understand. for you. Let's think about something positive. Do you want to go shopping tomorrow? We can buy you something. You promised to teach me to tap dance. Will you? I will. Of course. Now. Now? All right. Go get my present then.
Oh, I think we've woken everyone up. Let's do some more. Ready? Yeah. You'll be taking the medicine for me at the warehouse. Mm -hmm. As for the rest, call, and then you'll have to hand over the details to the dispatcher. Got it. Well, have you gotten used to everything here? She has, Valentin Nikolaevich. It's all fairly easy here. Can I go? Sure. Thank you. Well, how do you like the new job? The people are nice and welcoming. They remember tomorrow. How's the girl? She can't sleep without me at all. And she's not eating well. She doesn't talk almost. Stress. Well, that's okay. It takes time. But how to get through this? Katya. Katya. Mm-hmm. There you go. My first call. All right. Good luck. Drop by later if you have a minute, of course. Your new favorite. Do you approve? Or are you judging? I think we're both adults here. And we don't need to bring up the past. Do you disagree? One hundred over sixty. But it's good that it's dropping slowly. You shouldn't reduce it too quickly. Thank you. Thank you, young girl. I can feel it getting better. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're new here, right? You're right. Actually, I'm a pediatrician. How long have you been working for the ambulance unit? Not very long at all. It's my first day. Don't be shy. I'm an experienced patient. I can see straight away you've got a sharp eye. And you found the vein precisely. Thank God a professional came. Yes. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Mm hmm That was my partner. There's a line at the gas station. Oh, that's wonderful. We can have some tea. No, no tea. I have to go. No, 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 kiddo. This is what people do. Oh. Tell me one thing. What is such a young, beautiful, and skillful woman doing working for the ambulance? Let me help you. I actually live in another town. Ah, okay. I came here on vacation, and something really bad happened to my friend. It's a long story. Are you married? I don't have time for that. <laughs> don't hurry, don't hurry. I know only one nice bachelor out of all the locals. Help yourself. Homemade? Yes. Oh, it's been years. Mm. Could I possibly take one more for my partner? Oh, of course. Take them all. Thank you so much. Katerina Vasilyevna, don't be mad. Everybody was lined up at the gas station. Five vehicles and all of them ambulances. We had to wait. It's never happened before. At least the radio's silent. That's true. Right, let's get back to base? Mm hmm On the bright side, we've got cookies. Yeah, you've been lucky. You were welcomed into a wonderful house. Such a beautiful girl came with the ambulance today. So caring. Mom, please, I know what you're hinting at. What am I hinting at? It's just the staff are getting better, in my opinion. Uh-huh, sure, sure. Well, if you like it that much, why don't we hire her as your family doctor? Oh! You've got two higher education diplomas and no wit. You need a family to have a family doctor. Mm -hmm. What kind of family do we have? No grandchildren? Not even a wife for you. Mom, there are tons of single women. Tons, that's right. They're secretly calling you Don Juan. Mm -hmm. Soon, even I won't even be able to rescue your reputation. Well, I'll take care of my own reputation. As for girls, I think I found one, a good one. 
Soon I'll bring her home. To meet you? For approval? <laughs> oh, Sergei, you're such a buffoon. Yeah, that's me. And the girls think you're a buffoon and a clown. And you bring home circus artists. Thanks, Mom. Sergei? Hmm. Listen to your mother at least once, will you? I've got a sharp eye. <sighs> Mom, I love you. Thank you. I haven't been on a walk like this in forever. I'm glad. How's Tanya? Does she think about tomorrow a lot? She cries every day. Her father hasn't shown up yet, and the clock is ticking. We'll find Eager. The police promised me. I should pay them a visit. Do your bosses ask about me? Well, <laughs> of course, you're a famous person in town now. I don't know what I'm going to do when you leave. So you're still joking? You're not going to leave? I'm afraid to make plans for two days ahead. Let's put it like that. Tanya is my priority. But I need to go home at some point. Resign, get my documents. All right, I'll try to replace you. Will you stay for a week? Of course. Oh, God. At least there's some good in all of this. Well. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's everything. Passport. There's my passport. Mm. What's wrong? My mother never left me alone. I'm not leaving you alone either. I'm only leaving for a couple of days. It's very important. Auntie Svetlana will take you to school. Then you'll stay f with her for the night. You like staying with her, right? No. We'll go to the park. To the movies. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go to the movies. Don't leave. Honey, I really have to go, seriously. Take me with you then. Take me with you then. Sweetheart, it's too far. I used to go far with Mom. Perhaps you really should go together. You're not cold, are you? No. Okay. The car will be here in five minutes. All right. Here. Mm -hmm. Will Valentin be coming? He told me to say hello. He's very busy. I see. All right, girls, I'm off. Safe travels, my sweetie. Goodbye. Thank you so much for everything. Bye. Bye. And now we wait five minutes. Boop. <laughs> what luck. Anywhere I go, I meet you two. Hi, girls. Hello. Need a ride somewhere? No, thanks. This is us. Uh huh. Can I help you with your bag? Really, no need. We can take care of ourselves. Right? Oh, hey, just a second. Hello. Come on, get in. Get in. Katya, wait. Here you go. She's so pretty. And here you go. You left it. Thank you. Jump in. Well, see you soon, I hope.
now we'll go figure out where our train is, find our seats, and get comfortable, right? Ladies, yep. stop, please. Good evening, Captain Aramenko. Hello. Can I see your documents, please? What's the problem? Show me your documents, please. Okay. Don't worry. Are you a relative of this girl? No. I'm a family friend. Why are you asking? Please follow me to the station. We can't. We're going to miss the train. Lady, I'm arresting you until we get the facts straight. Is that clear? No need for that. We'll just check the documents and let us go. It's all right. Your employees are weird. First, there's a signal that a woman stole a child. Then a crowd comes from the same place to defend her. Excuse me? What signal? There was a call from the emergency services. But that's impossible. It's possible, apparently. A female voice told us about the child rather nervously. Okay, you deal with it. Is there anyone to take care of the girl, or shall we get social services? Oh, there's no need to call anybody. We'll deal with it. All right. Thanks for not making a fuss. Well, call me. If needed. <laughs> Knock on wood. No, better you call us. <laughs> well, it's all right. Yeah. You can go. Mm-hmm. But you have to go alone. Kaita, don't worry. I'll look after her. I'll come back. Do you believe me? I do. It's time to go, girls. I'm very grateful to you. Now don't worry about it. I'm here for you. Come back soon. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Gotcha. What is this, eh? First you come to me without vacation. An unplanned one, by the way. Now you're talking about your resignation. What is this? You can't be serious. I'm being completely serious. The circumstances have changed. Oh. Hmm. Oh. All right, then. We can do it your way. Let's do it your way. I've got a position's position for you. Oh, that's all very well and good. But I still have to go. Katya, my dear. What do you need? Tell me. Do you need a personal driver? Free working schedule? Why are you bargaining? I'm not bargaining. Would you please just sign these documents? I'm leaving. For good. What? It's that serious? The fate of a little girl hangs in the balance. <sighs> so that's it. I thought you'd found a decent man at last. <sighs> Let's not even start. All right. You'll get it all by noon tomorrow. Thank you. Got you. Keep in mind. If you ever want to come back, I'll gladly accept you. You're very kind, thank you. Not at all. Go already. Or I'll persuade you to stay. Oh.
Hi. Good afternoon. Oh. Hey. And what are you doing here? Hold on, Katya. Stop fooling around. What do you mean, why am I here? First you left. Then you came back. I'm getting divorced, by the way, hmm? And you didn't even know. I'm not interested. I'm leaving. Hold on, hold on. What do you mean, not interested? I'm interested. Where are you going? To whom? Why should I tell you? Katya, wait. Let's get married the way you wanted. Mm-mm. I don't want to marry you. Hold on. What happened? You don't want that? Listen. I have a man I love in another town. And a daughter. What? What are you talking about? What man? What town? I'm getting divorced for you, by the way. What daughter? It's been two weeks. Who even needs you? You should thank me for being here for you. You're a fool, you know that. Sorry, of course. No, you're the fool! You'll come back begging! Fool. Katya! Hi. Where's Tanya? Why isn't she with you? They took her honey to the orphanage straight from kindergarten. I couldn't do anything. They haven't sealed the flat yet, but I think they'll do it soon. I understand. Listen, Svetlana, I'm going to the orphanage now. Please, help me sort things out in the meantime, okay? Yes, yes, yes. I'll be honest with you. I don't want you to give the child false hope. Do you understand me? No, I don't understand. I'm not her mother, of course, but I'm all that she has. She doesn't have anyone closer than me. That's the problem. You're a doctor, after all. You've studied psychology. You must understand these things. You must have at least some personal experience. What does my doctor's experience have to do with it? All right, I'll explain it to you. After the accident that happened in Tanya's mother, you created, in fact, a new family for the girl. Do you understand this? Of course. Why wouldn't I? Well, at least you understand that. Listen, stop talking to me like I'm a little girl. What right do you even have to do that? All right. Tell me then, what are you going to do if Tanya's father comes? What what? Of course Tanya will go with him. Yes, that would be wonderful. But there's a chance that he won't appear. He might be dead. Why do you keep making assumptions? Yakaterina Vasilevna, I'm not pressuring you. I'm just supposing. I have to do it. It's my job. Do you understand? Suppose, not dream with my head in the clouds. I understand. Therefore, I suppose that Tanya's father could be dead. He might go abroad, have changed his name, or do anything else. What are you talking about? I'm saying that the girl will remain in state custody until her adulthood. Here? In the orphanage? It doesn't matter whether it'll be here or not. All right, I'll adopt her right now then. Yeah, that would be great. But until the issue of Tanya's father is solved, no one's going to give her to you. This is first. Second, what makes you think they will even let you adopt her? Are you married? No. Do you have a place to live? I have a job. I know that you have a job. I even know that you're a good doctor. But you don't even have a registration. No. Dear, you're an adult. You should understand these things. Until you're able to provide the child with more normal conditions, no one's going to even talk to you about adoption. Do you understand? What can I do? Solve your problem somehow. I'm trying. Don't get nervous here. I don't want you to burst into tears. As long as you keep behaving like this, I won't let you see Tanya. Is that clear? Yes. Are you calm now? Let's go. Sweetheart. 
Have you left me? I would never leave you. Don't leave me, please. Don't leave me. I know, little one. I'll get you out of here, I promise. I just need to collect all the documents and find your dad. I don't want to go to dad. You're so pale. Have you eaten anything today? I don't want to eat. Maybe if I bring you something tasty? I don't know. Bring me that doll that man gave me. I'll bring it, I promise. Just eat something, okay? Katya, I'll be waiting for you every day. Finally. I've missed you. Was there really nothing you could have done? What are you talking about? Ah, listen. I was trying to persuade social services. And? They think that you're trying to take the apartment. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Couldn't you stand up for me? Or not let them take Tanya at least? Everyone in town knows you. Katya, I think you're tired. You should lie down and rest. And tomorrow... Rest? Have you even seen Tanya? Alright, I'm sorry. I don't mean to create problems. I need to find a place to live. The hospital has housing, right? Listen, I wanted to tell you long ago. Why do you need the dorm? Move in with me. That's it. I th thought it would be better if we started living together. Was that meant to be some kind of marriage proposal? It's just an offer for now. Do you accept? Not yet. It's nice, but I need to... Think. Yes. And decide what to do with Tanya. Her father will take her. Yeah. Why do you need this? We need to find her dad. What if we don't find him? Well... The orphanage directors explained everything in bleak colors. If we don't find Eager, they probably won't let me take her at all. Kaisa, are you serious? You really want to take her? To adopt her? Yes. What other option do I have? Well, I don't know. <sighs> I mean, you could visit Tanya, of course. You don't actually have to adopt her. Would a child be a problem for you? Katya, she's not my child. That's it. Hmm. Hold on. Later. Someday in the future, we'll have children. Our children. And now it's time for me to be the head of the town the health department. And for you to head up a unit. It's just... Not the right time. Do you understand? Of course. Thanks. Thank you for considering me. Thank you for the prospects. For now, let's talk about simpler issues. How can the dorm issue be solved? What, are you turning me down? Yes. It looks like you're not used to it. Well, you do realize that I... I can't help you with a place to live or work. 
Are you firing me? That's not fair. But it's honest. Lucky. Katya, what? What happened? Something with Tanya? No? Svetlana, can you help me find a place to rent? Valentine just fired me. Looks like our boss has gone completely nuts. Valentine! Yes? I want to tell you this. You're a great doctor, but a bad person. Right. Ma'am. Let's uphold some basic subordination. Subordination? I'm asking you. No, I demand that you solve all of Katya's problems immediately concerning both the job that you gave her and the dormitory. Otherwise. Otherwise what? Otherwise I'll go to the regional health department and a lot of people will support me. All right. Let's leave out the threats. The problem is being solved. What makes you think I'm not working on it? Hmm. So, we'll have to tea? Go to the HR department, right? To get the order for the dorm, right? I'll call them. I really don't understand. Something's not right. We need to get you to the hospital for a diagnosis. Diagnosed? For what? Old age is my diagnosis. Don't worry, Katya. I'll get better now. We're going to have tea. No, 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 none of that. You need to lie down. When is your family getting back? Well, in an hour, 40 minutes perhaps? Not a problem. This is my last call, so I'll sit with you. Oh, I'm already feeling better. Oh, stop it. I'll set the table. It's better to get acquainted at the table. Tea. Get acquainted? Other things. All right. With whom? With you, Katya. I don't know anything about you except that you're new in town. <sighs> There's nothing to tell. I'm alone. My mom died long ago. My boyfriend turned out to be a scumbag. My friend was like a sister to me. And now she's gone too. How are you coping with all that? Does your work help? No, not really. You won't believe it. I dance. Tap dance. Because I can't pity myself. Tap dance? Oh. <laughs> I've dreamed of it my entire life. Winter evening in Gagra. <laughs> What a feeling. What do you think? Can you teach me? Easy. Even a little girl can do it. Really? Come on, come on. <laughs> All right. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. One. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on, once again. Pa ba pa bam. Look at this. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> Looks like you forgot why you called me at all. Uh, <laughs> Who just had high blood pressure? Oh, I had high blood pressure. Am I just going to sit here and wait for death to come? <laughs> I had it and now it's gone. Let's take again? it again. Pa ba pa bam. Pa ba pa bam. Pa ba pa bam. 
You can't do this with her. Kaiji, I'm sorry. I can't do anything else. I have a completely different life now. But this, this can't be just explained. It has its nuances. Nuances. A child is sitting in an orphanage while her father is alive. Oh, God, Katya. I'm going to have a baby now. My wife's in her seventh month. The pregnancy's been difficult. And what, I'll just tell her, oh, by the way, we already have a baby? Huh? What am I supposed to say to my father-in-law? Sorry about that. It happened on the side. Do you know what they'll do to me? Do you know who my father-in-law is? But Tanya is your child as well. I'm not abandoning her. I'll be helping her, don't get me wrong. But I can't take her. That she doesn't remember me at all. What if I adopt her? Get full custody? Well, that's up to you to decide. I need your consent then. They won't give me the child without it. Or even better, we could take her with us and then solve all the problems- No, oh, God. I've told you already that I can't just go and take her. Do you understand? No, I don't understand. My life could change so much that I won't be happy at all. You said that... Tamara left an apartment? Yeah, but it's sealed. All right. That's what we'll do. I'll talk to my wife carefully, mostly about the flat, and then, well, maybe then she'll meet us halfway. What are you talking about? Your own daughter is in an orphanage. You talk of apartments. Anyway, I've said my part. I'm not too far away. If something... I can come the day after tomorrow. I'll call. Okay, I should have all of this in line by the evening, all right? Sir, so, uh, there's not a single extra ruble. Everything's according to the estimate. All right, I got it tomorrow. Thank you. Good luck. Wow, I'm really lucky after all. Morning. See you again. Hello? Are you following me? Of course, I have nothing else to do. <laughs> Here to see the doctor? Yeah, and you? I'm helping with renovations. Going to town? Mm-hmm. Need a ride? Or the usual? Today I'll accept. Lucky again. Let's go. Again someone else's car. No, it's mine. Mm -hmm. It's an automatic. The shifter's here. Where do you need to go? To the hospital. You work there? Yes. I wanted to thank you for the doll. Tanya can't be without it. Well, I'm glad. That's good. Did something happen? You look sad. Everything's fine. I'm just in a bad mood. Bad mood? All right. Let's go cheer you up. What are you doing? I have to get to work. Oh, don't worry. Your work won't run away from you. It's so nice here. You know, at first I didn't trust you at all. Am I that scary? <laughs> Not scary, just weird. I'm weird. Who's not weird? <laughs> Maybe you'll think the same about me. Tell me, why haven't you asked anything about me? <clears throat> why I'm here? 
Why do I always live in different places? In general? Who am I? <clears throat> well, first, I did ask. You didn't answer. Second, why would I make you tell me something that you don't want to? And third... And third? Third, what I see is enough for me. Not very curious, then. <laughs> I'm very curious. The most curious man in town. But I'm holding back. Listen, if you need any help, anything, call me. I'll be there for you. Thank you. It's just that sometimes there are things that you have to... that you have to deal with on your own. It's scary to even think about it, but she's gotten used to it. She plays with other kids. Thank you. But she's gotten so thin, she doesn't eat anything. So you can never called? <laughs> Disappeared. He never picks up the phone when I call. Maybe he's afraid. Or waiting for the right moment. It's bad, and time's not on our side. What happened? They asked everyone to come here. For a staff meeting. What's the big news? Calling a staff meeting during a ship? I don't know. He's been irritated. He's been harsh with everyone lately. Better not to even approach him. Your attention, please. I warned you that you're not allowed to use motor transport for personal purposes. You even signed forms stating you wouldn't. So, Kaiser's team, instead of going to the station to restore the medical stock, repeatedly went off the route and was missing for more than half an hour. I've decided to reprimand Dr. Katya for violating the order, depriving her of perks and bonuses. She didn't go there for personal reasons. She went to the orphanage. I have informed the head of the garage. The driver will also be described of his bonus. I don't know where they went. The order is the same for everyone. Is that clear? Valentine, do you remember how you promised the entire collective to find Tamara's ex-husband? Tell me, have you managed this? I remember. But it's not done quickly. I see. It's a pity we can't take away your bonus. I just don't understand why he's doing this. He's just jealous. Jealous of whom? That's your nature, other men. Good work. He sees how easily you achieve everything. Yeah, easily. Nothing is working out with Tanya. That's an important guest. So isn't he here for you, girls? <laughs> for us. 
Katya, is he for you? For me, and? Don't you know who he is? How old are I? Pretending to be totally innocent, as always. Lena, you should make yourself busy. Go to Valentine with a report, for example. Go already. Tell me. Oh, come on, girl. You hooked the main Don Juan in town. And you're not telling. He's also the chief employer here. He's not a poor man, you know. Single. Even though he's had plenty of options. How do you know him? Not important. Katya, hey, this is for you. I can't go with you. Why? What happened? Nothing happened. <laughs> Same old story. Nothing new. First we pretend to be God knows what, and then it turns out... I don't pretend to be anyone. What happened? This is like some kind of bad joke. And everyone already knows it. Katya, I don't understand what's going on. I'm sick of lies. What lies? Enough. That's it. You see, Katya, I can't be looking for a person based solely on your complaint. You're not his sister or his wife. But this isn't for me. This is for a little girl. She needs to find her father. I think that competent bodies, social services in this case, are already on it. You know, he was around. Who? Eager. Tanya's father. Did you see him? Well... Especially if you've seen him. I don't know your intentions or your motives. Let's talk honestly. You tried to sneak the girl out of town. The police arrested you, and now you're coming to me. I'm not going to help you. First of all, my colleagues wouldn't get it. I understand now. I made a mistake. I should have come to you immediately. Uh, How can I fix this? The best option would be waiting. You've already done a lot. Enough for three trials. I need to go. You called? I did. Okay, and? Gotcha. There have been complaints about you. I'm extremely dissatisfied with your discipline. You hand over your shifts too hastily. You always go away on lunch breaks. Take personal phone calls during work hours and flirt around in front of everybody. And you're setting a bad example for the entire group. That all? As far as I understand, the last point is the biggest concern? The rules are the same for everyone. I understand but I won't stop going to see Tanya during lunch. And I need a vacation. I'll go looking for Eager. For now, I'm working. Last thing, if you're going to fire me, do it fairly in advance, please. I have no other source of income. So please, in advance. Are you out of your mind? How could you 
even do that? You were Tamara's friend. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. I was thinking about different things at the time. Who needs your apologies? Me, Katya, or Tanya? You idiot! What's going on here? Why are you shouting? Well, why are you being silent? Not enough courage to tell the truth? Tell me what's going on. She was the one that called the police on you. Why? I'm sorry. I thought you'd leave and never come back. And Valentine was supposed to forget everything and come back to you. What kind of person would do that? Katya. Let's go over the paperwork while they unload. Of course, Sergey. Sure. We'll issue a letter of gratitude to you. The fact that you're promising to complete the repairs in a week is amazing. You'll help us a lot. Thank you very much. Tell me, that girl in the checkered shirt is Tanya, right? Tanya Lebdova. That's right. How do you know? Excuse me, but what's she doing here? She's new here. Her mom died and has no one left. She died? She was an ambulance doctor. Rapid lung inflammation. Hold on, are you saying Katya's dead? Oh no, what are you saying? No, calm down please. The mother's name was Tamara. Katya, you've mistaken for the girl's mother. She was Tamara's friend. She looked after the girl first, but then we took her. <clears throat> Why did you bring her here? That was the order. She wants to adopt her, but she's not a relative. Why couldn't the girl stay with Katya? Well, Katya's situation is quite difficult. She moved here only recently. She's not married. In other words, we don't know her at all, and we can't entrust a child with her just like that. So you could leave her with Katya if she was registered? Only if the father is not found. We've applied to the police. They are looking for him, but no luck so far. Hmm. Excuse me, is she a friend of yours? Yeah, you could say that. You know, my assistant will come for the paperwork. He'll be here in a while. I have of to course, be Of course, I understand. Thank you very much. Afternoon. Good afternoon. Excuse me, there's a girl who works here as an EMT. She's on a call. No, you don't even know who I'm talking about. I know. She's out on a call far from here out in the district. Hold on. I think you misunderstood. Katya, I'm telling you, is always on a call. Excuse me. Excuse me, just a minute. I was at the orphanage today, and I saw Tanya, a little girl. They said her mom died, and I didn't know that Tanya wasn't Katya's daughter. Is Katya all right? No, she's not all right. She's been fighting for the child for a very long time already. Her scumbag father popped up and disappeared again and didn't even take the child from the orphanage. The police don't want to look for the dad because Katya's not even related to the girl. Need anything else? How can I help Katya? Find Tanya's father. Excuse me. Of course. You see, she appeared like a bolt from the blue. First, she wanted to leave the city with the child. Hold on, she went to get her things. Didn't you find that out? I did. That's why there were no consequences. And then she came to us. She asked us to find the father no matter what. And what did you do? What I did? We sent out an inquiry. By the way, we found him quickly. But the father is in no rush to come back to his daughter. You know, it happens nowadays. Just give her the address. I can't do that. She's nobody. Nobody to this girl or to Rogatkin. All right, give me the address. What's his name? Igor Rogatkin. He's an engineer. I'll be there in a couple hours. No, don't tell anyone. And don't tell him either. Just make sure he stays until I get there. May I? Yeah, come in. He has a question for you. I'll leave you for a while. Thank you. Good evening. Come in, sit down.
Good evening. My name is Sergei Yegorov. I'd like to talk to you about your daughter. Who are you? Let's just say I'm the man who wants to take part in her life. Is that enough? I understand you don't need her. You see, I have another family now. My wife is pregnant. And there was an option with the apartment. Perhaps then... Oh, come on, let's be straight. You need an apartment, not a daughter, right? All right, let's get down to business. I'll solve the apartment. And you give Katya custody over Tanya. And that's it? That's it. Or are you going to bargain? No, not at all. Be happy, you come out on top. I'll sign it. What if they find out? If you don't tell anyone, no one will find out. Come on. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, what's your emergency? Oh, old age and weather. <laughs> My blood pressure has shot up. Pressure. We'll measure your pressure and see what to give you. Tell me, there's a girl who works with you. A pediatrician. Where is she? She's not here today. On her day off? No. She got fired. Fired? Hold on. She's such a good doctor. What for? You see, her boss is low and very jealous man. Ah. Oh. All right. Girl, give me my phone, please. They took Tanya away. Who did? Is this true? Yes. Tanya's dad came. And you see, you were worried, but he came after all. How come... Why didn't you call me? Why would I? He proved all the necessary documents and took the girl. Here, take this. Thank you. Guys, tasty treats. Tatiana, my dear. Oh, my God. Long time. No see. I'm so glad to see you. Tea? I remember enrolling you at Pioneers. How long ago was it? <laughs> About 25 years? <laughs> Do you remember what you promised? To be fair and help people, didn't you? Tatiana... Ma'am, please, I'm not a scout anymore. Pioneers are gone, but people are still here. Why did you fire a good girl? It was... purely a work-related issue. Don't lie to me. I've discovered everything. 
Anyway, either you get her back, or I tell everyone about your turbulent youth. <laughs> <laughs> Tell who? Everyone. friend. I've been looking for you all over the city. Have you left your phone at home? The regional health department called. They want to see you. Valentin's all pale. He says there was no order for a dismissal at all. Can you imagine it? Katya, you should have seen it. You have a job again. Katya, aren't you glad? You'll have to excuse me, but none of that matters anymore. All right, stop being sad. Let's go. Igor took Tanya. He didn't even call me. I went to the apartment, but it's all sealed. Let's go. We'll have tea and think about what to do next. Oh, God, I don't want tea. All right, we'll go get you some valerian root. You're working. People are waiting for you. You're my call. And people are waiting for you. How are you? Hello. All right, let's go. Let's go. The title for the apartment is almost ready. My lawyers took care of it all. You get the title and disappear. I don't think I have to explain anything else. Did Sergei organize all of this? Yes, it was him. Tanya! Tanya! Oh God, I missed you so much. That's it, you'll have the title tomorrow. My lawyers will bring it. Mom, come on. Come on, what's with you women? Always crying when you should be happy. Everything worked out. Let's go, or I'll burst into tears. And what happens next? Everything will be fine. There's some details to take care of, paperwork. But the main thing is we decided you are Tanya's mother now. Oh, stop crying, come on. Mom, are there any pies left? Oh, they're history already. We ate them long ago. Although I can bake fresh ones. Let's have some wine then. Let's go. <laughs>